Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to show you the uh, the new Mosho uh, Nova Class X and uh, this is the uh, Lean Cage I think that's why it's pronounced uh, this is the uh, Chinese anime um, they turn it into uh, figures which is really exciting to have actually uh, I've never seen this uh, anime before I have a little taste on the uh, YouTube and it was really really good uh, so I don't know what it is uh, I can't find it in the Netflix or Amazons or the HBOs, I can't find it anywhere. <laughs> so uh, it must be only for Asia. Um, so unfortunately, I can't see this uh, anime. But the uh, the figure is really awesome, and uh, I'm really impressed with the quality and the build. Uh, all the attention to detail is absolutely impressive. I, I'm gonna show you all this stuff in a second, and this is really really cool figures and the price that i pay for is around about uh 120 or 30 pounds something like that so it's not expensive figure at all and plus it has a lot of die cast skeleton uh, the whole internal structure is die cast and you got pluses plus stuff on the surface and come with a decent amount of accessory as well which is really impressive and this is mo show after all uh, which is really really cool and so the this is absolutely amazing you know uh, <laughs> i'm really impressed with the whole thing so far um, yeah, so I got this one from Show Z. Um, so you can also get this from Bombasby.net as well. So you can check it out from both stores, and they're really, really good. So here we are. Anyway, so let's get started. So before I show you the figures, let's start with the box. So this is the box that comes with it. Uh, so as you can see here, uh, it is really nice. And uh, you can see the, uh, the actual figure itself. And then you got Mosho logo at the top. And then you got uh, all these Chinese written stuff, which I don't quite understand all of it, but it says MU2, Heavy Duty Mecha. And then at the back, and then you got some more details on the stuff, which you can see all the little pictures there and so on and so forth. Anyway, so that's the uh, box. And now let's look at the accessories. So you got quite a few pair of hands. So you got a typical fist, as usual. And you got relaxed hand, all right? You got relaxed hand, typical hand, uh, fist, and you got the uh, some kind of fist with the you can hold this one for the uh, soul, right? And then you got trigger hand as well, and then this is the another relaxed hand. So you got a few pair of hands, and then you got trigger hand. This is the one I was talking about, so I already put it in the uh, hands uh, for the weapon. Now you also have the uh, face gob as well, which you can swap with the uh, mechanical face instead of that you can put this one inside there which is really nice and then you also have this nice cool looking pistol uh, so this is handgun and you can actually take out the uh, stuff and you can see the bullet in there as well so this is really cool and then you also have a massive uh, weapon which is that one All right so this is another big gun and you can also take this out as well and you can see the uh, bullet inside there but unfortunately some of Parts are very stiff. E. Well, one sec. Okay, I managed to take this out. So as you can see here, it has a nice bullet looking inside there as well. So all you gotta do is push it back in, and then it just click in very nicely and strong. And then you can see the nice gun metal effects, all nicely painted and weathering effects everywhere. And you can see that it's really really nice. So I really like this gun. And so you got two guns and then two saw as well so you got massive saw like this this is really nice look at that all the weathering and all this paint stuff on top of that which is really good quality and then the cool thing is you can actually separate these two saw like this and then you can attach them like this one to make a very long weapon as well so like that you see that that is insanely cool and <laughs> look at that it's really really nice or you can combine these two together just like so and there we are and yeah so this is really nice so that's one cool weapon and then you also have um, another weapon at the back which I can attach it so this is a chainsaw sort of like a Gears of War from the video game uh, sort of like that style and you can also fold this one down i'm not exactly sure the purpose of all these folding down there but you know it's something there and then all these chains are made of rubber so they are actually rubber and look at that they can actually move uh, even though they are a little bit stiff they can actually move look at that 
right? So it's really nice weapon. So I like that as well. So you got two massive uh, weapon, and then you also have two gun as well. So you got quite a lot of stuff. Then you got plus the face sculpt as well. Now let's look at the figure on its own. This is impressive, and the engineering in this one is absolutely impressive. You also have the some um, LED lighter point as well. So this is where you're gonna replace the uh, head mechanical part with the uh, face, I suppose. And the problem with this one is all the uh, pieces here is very tight, unfortunately. And then there's a little button uh, where you turn it on, and then you can see that it has some green color. LED effects on it. The LED effects is very very minimal unfortunately uh, because the way that design is the the way it is I suppose so it's not much you can do about it. So that's that a little bit shame but the um, if you want to remove this uh, mechanical part so all you gotta do is take I assume that you can just take out this first silver part there and replace with this uh, face sculpt in here so it's gonna look something looks like that so yeah, it would be cool. So you can choose either way anyway. I'm just going to keep it as it is, you know, I'm not going to swap it around. And then you got this, uh, this whole piece is actually made of metal, right? So this is a backpack, so you can actually articulate, you can turn, you can twist. And there's a little joint there where you can twist and turn and things like that, right? So you can see. And then, yeah, so this is really nice touch and yeah. So that's one thing, and let's look at the articulation on the figure itself. And do you notice that all the little translucent part around on the uh, thighs and stuff like that? This is really nice touch, a little green uh, translucent part here. And also on this side, uh, it's not really clear on it in this kind of daylight here, unfortunately. And then you got this another piece here where you can actually bring it out to make this one to actually foldable. So you can do that. And then if I bend it down just like a tree zero and the articulation is amazing. You can see all the spines and everything shows and reveal up, which is really nice. So that's one thing. And then all the internal die cast structure here. And then what I really impress about this is all these uh strux styles here is actually uh work. You know, look at that. If I move it, you can see that it's actually going around. Look at that. That is one crazy engineering here. Not only that, also on the legs, you can see this uh, uh, round circle thing. And you got a magnetic part on the feet as well. So yeah, anyways, I'm sidetracking. So if I focus on this uh, round circle thing, and if I burn it down, you can see that all the strike will also expand itself. And also the circle will turn as well. Look at that. Okay. So do you see that? If I zoom in a little bit, yeah, see, pay attention to this one. So do you see that? That is absolutely insane. Look at that. Check this out, guys. I've never seen this in any figure at all. All right. So you have this articulation as normal. You can go sideways. You can bring up and down, and then the knee can go all the way down as well, as usual. And then when you get down there, you see the thigh part will actually bring it down itself. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. That is so cool. Look at all the strut here. And it is insanely cool here. I'm really loving this. Wow. Mojo is really good at making these figures. You know, it's well done how they're doing it. So look at that. Also on the chest part, all the strut style, they are actually individually Articulate and you can see you know if I bring it down you can see the whole thing can crouch down and then can go up Look at that. It's amazing And also the arm and the arm has the die cast internal structure as you can see here These are die cast you can arms can swivel and the ball joint here is actually a metal not plastic by the way And so this one can you can swivel so is that joint here you can swivel up there and also up down here and the hand can go all the way up as well. And then you will have the, the same thing as the uh, the legs. And you can also actually make all this stuff to come out as well. You can see that another strut down there. You can see that. That is really impressive. Really impressive. 
<laughs> I'm so loving this actually. This is really cool. And this is how the uh, figure should be. You know, it's actually cheaper than the Bandai Metal Bill. And uh, the quality and the you know stuff that you're getting is absolutely impressive. And look at all the paint job, the weathering is absolutely amazing. Absolutely beautiful, really. Uh, uh, there's nothing that wrong with these figures at all. You know, everything that you look, everything, every corner, really, really nice. It's also weighed about 650 or 680 grams, something like that. Uh, so it's kind of heavy-ish. About the same weight as the, uh, a little bit heavier than the Bumblebee from 3.0 DLX line, I would say. So yeah, um, the only problem I have with this figure is, is the scale. The scales is a bit weird, so it's not really on the, um, you know, the um, like 12 inches, like 1.6 scales, or it's not like um, 172 scales either. It's kind of weird somewhere in the middle. So yeah, let me show you the comparison in a second. Okay, now I've just put all the bunch of figures around the uh, these figures. Uh, I haven't put the hands in there, so it's kind of a bit weird. So I apologize for that. I put all the bits and pieces together, and I put on the uh, YouTube uh, short video as well, so you can check it out after posing and everything. But anyway, so this is what I got here so far. So you got three zero Bumblebee, which is DLX line, which is a little bit shorter than this guy, right? So maybe the other Bumblebee may be a little bit the same height as this guy, I would say. And then you got Metal Build Gundam, uh, Strike Gundam, as you can see here. And then you got another Mojo, which is the uh, Dante Masume, so you can see that. And the skills wise is absolutely <laughs> a bit awkward, you know. This one doesn't line up with the Transformer line because this is actually a person inside there. These are actual robot with a massive, you know, uh, transformation into a giant robot from a car or vehicle. This is not. And this one doesn't scale with the metal build either. Uh, it's not scale with the uh, Dante Masume. So I don't know where I should put this one actually. I'm struggling with this one completely. So yeah, that's the only problem with this figure. Apart from that, I'm absolutely happy with everything with this figure. You know, it's absolutely beautiful. And it's not expensive either. You know, you really should go for it if you can find it whatever in stock. Just go for it. It really is nice quality and really you will not regret it at all. So I recommend it completely from Shozi or the uh, Bombas B or wherever you can find it in your own country. So just go for it. So you can see this one is going to be ridiculously expensive. This is about <laughs> nearly uh, 200 pounds with all the accessories and everything. In fact, it's more than that uh, because of these uh, accessories here. So you got 160 pounds for the figures and another 100 pounds on the uh, weapon. So combined together, it's over two hundred and fifty pounds. That is a double of this guy, right? And this is one hundred and fifty pounds. It's a little bit more expensive than this one, but it's you know reasonable. So these two are, I would say, reasonable price. So is a Dante Masume. So you can see that Bandai is the only thing that's really overpriced and ridiculous. So I always say this in my YouTube channels: so that do not <laughs> go for Metal Bill if you can avoid it. Because they are overpriced. There are loads of other figures out there that are better quality than Bandai. Uh, obviously, if you love Gundam, by all means, go for it. If you have a lot of money, go for it. I like Bandai too. I, I have a few Bandai myself. you know. Um, but every time after I bought one of these Bandai, I always regretted it. <laughs> I don't know why. I always feel like it's not worth the money. and But I like it, so I bought it. And then after that, I regretted it. So yeah, that's always the problem with the Metal Bill, uh, Metal Bill and Metal Robot Spirit, or they're all the same thing. Um, but these guys, I don't regret it at all. Uh, I'm absolutely happy to have it in my collection. Uh, definitely worth the money. Really, really impressive quality, and yeah, every corner I look at it is absolutely stunning. Really. So yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, I will see you in the next video. Cheers.